Hey everyone, welcome back to the Chat and Chat Q&A. This is part two. I'm gonna put the link to part one down in the description below. And like I said, if you do not get your question answered in this video, it might be in the next one. So please stay tuned, be patient, and hopefully we'll get to everyone's question. All right, enjoy. All right, uh, and then three, how do I know Mr. Sanchez? So Mr. <laughs> Sanchez, I used to live in New York. Um, after I left India, I moved to New York and a job brought me down here. There's another question that I will answer right now, which is, what state do I currently live in? And that is New Mexico. Yep. And a lot of people that do not live in New Mexico hear Mexico and think that is part of Mexico, but it is not. It is the United States and it is a state here. And I'm actually wearing a New Mexico shirt and it's Albuquerque, New Mexico. And it's beautiful here. And, you know, if, if you have a chance, you should visit because it's awesome and we have great food. Yeah. <laughs> Miguel Sanchez, Mr. Sanchez, I first met you when I moved here. I was new. I didn't have any friends and I wanted to make friends in the area. So there's an app called Meetup and it's for interest group, like whether you like playing tennis, whether you like going bowling or hiking, you can join all these different groups and then you go and you can meet friends that have the same interests. Mm -hmm. So I joined a hiking group in October because there was Halloween. That's a whole nother story because my Dadu just visited this last October and he stayed with us and he had his first Halloween, which was <laughs> a hoot. Like it was so much fun. We even got him to dress up in a costume. I will share a picture of that right here. Uh, so I was Robin and he was little John, Robin Hood and, and little John. Anyway, so Halloween, mm -hmm. I go on this hike. I bring my dog. If any of you know Calvin and Hobbes, that was me and my dog Lomi. So Lomi was Hobbes and I was Calvin. Mm -hmm. And when we got to this hike, Miguel was the only one that knew what my costume was. So it was <laughs> kind of funny. So we hit it off immediately. We just started talking and talking. We found out we have a lot of interest together, like we play volleyball. Mm -hmm. So I invited him to play volleyball with our group and Miguel started hanging out with the group of my friends mm -hmm. and we would go. And we also went for chai. Oh yes, right after the hike, everyone was having coffee. And then when he got up to order, he ordered chai and I was like, dude, no way. And I'm like, of course, I, I don't drink coffee. I, I drink chai. I mean, come on. So we started talking. And so the chai brought up the whole India thing. We started talking about India. I don't know. We've hit it off ever since. We started hanging out. I told him that I was interested in starting this channel. He likes movies and yeah. he was very unfamiliar with Bollywood, but he was willing to give it a try. Yeah. And I think you have been really enjoying. Yeah, I really do enjoy the movies. They're very, very good. So that's how I know him. He is not my dad. A lot of people believe that he is my dad. He is not my dad. He is not my grandpa. He. <laughs> we're not related. <laughs> we're, we are, we're not related. In the beginning, I was correcting people in all the comments, but then it was just so many comments <laughs> that your dad is so cute. I'm like, yeah, he's, you know, he's, he's very nice looking, but uh, he is not my dad <laughs> the background of mr sanchez so i'm gonna let you answer this they're interested in your backgrounds let us know more about you i grew up in new mexico my family is from new mexico i am what most americans call hispanic so i'm mixed of um, spanish mexican american i moved to california the san francisco bay area for about 30 years my education is in technology particularly computers and I have specialty around uh, computer security and networking. Oh, I went to Silicon Valley to do that for 30 some years and had a great time there. Learned actually a lot from my community and my friends there because in the Bay Area, there's a very large Indian community. So I have had a lot of experience with uh, Indian food and Indian culture and have a lot of friends that are from India that work in the Bay Area. And they, they never got you to watch Bollywood movies. They stuff. never, well, they would occasionally bring something up uh, or they would like, I remember one time we had an office event and it was uh, kind of a share your culture day. Some of the people in the office got together and they did a Bollywood dance. They did their own version and it was really cool. I was like, that's really neat. So, but no one ever really invited me to go to, a, I, I knew what a Bollywood movie was, yeah. but I didn't didn't really know to, you know, or know where to go. After 30 years in Silicon Valley, I basically decided that I was going to come back to New Mexico to be closer to my my parents 
who have gotten older and uh, to my family reconnect with my network here. So that's my background. Another question well, from... look who showed up. Lomi. Watch your head. There, there you go. go baby. Up. Oh, watch says... your head. Okay. <laughs> so we have, we have the occasional guest appearance. Lomi makes his way into some of our videos sometimes because he gets pretty needy. So this is Lomi. I've had him for about uh, five, almost five years now. And uh, so when I got him, he, um, he looks like a fox. I love foxes. And the Hindi word for fox is lomri. Yeah. And, but lomri is a little tough for many people to say. Yeah. And it's not as cute of a name for yeah. a dog. So I shortened it down to lomi. And so lomi is a lot easier to say. Yep. He's my little buddy. And he's super adorable and affectionate. He loves to cuddle. He's been with me ever since I lived in New York, so I brought him down here with me. So that's Lomi's background. <laughs> All right, uh, which part of India were you born? Spend your childhood, what did you study, work? When did you go back to the US? In which state of the US do you live? What do you do now? Your family, partner, kids, etc. So we answered most of that, but what, what I did not answer is what I do now. I am not married yet, but I am engaged. We're thinking about getting married this year. I don't have any kids, although Lomi thinks of himself as my kid. He is <laughs> as needy as I think a kid would be. And what I do for work now, I work actually in Hollywood. I'm a visual effects artist. I have been doing it for almost 10 years now. And I have an IMDB page. So if you guys are interested in what I have worked on, go ahead and click the link in the description below and you'll get my IMDB page. There's been some really interesting movies that I've worked on out here. And one of them, actually, there's another question right here. Do I plan on watching Monkey Man? And the answer is yes, because my company worked on it. Dave Patel, mm -hmm. I think Dave Patel even directed, I think he directed it, but he's also starring in it. If you don't know Dave Patel by name, he is the lead from Slumdog Millionaire. Ah, okay. But he's done some great movies, like I think it's called Lion. Yes. Yeah, that was a beautiful movie. That was an awesome movie. So Dave Battelle's in it. It's not a Bollywood movie, but it is still like a movie that I'm very interested in seeing because I try to watch all the movies that my company works on. How about this one? Because this one, I know this of Indian culture. And of course, because when I'm in India, like it, you know, I lived there for, for quite a while. So this question is, why do I address reaction uncle by his name? Isn't that rude? Yes, in the US, we do have that as well, but we don't say uncle, we don't say auntie. It's more of like a sir and ma'am. But as soon as you create a familiar relationship, whether it's best friends or friends or you're on a friendly nature, it doesn't matter if there's an age difference or not. Once you have that relationship, so even though yes, he is older than I am, since we are on a friend level, I use his name. Even if you are on those friendly terms, there is still areas in the US that you will say sir and ma'am. Mm -hmm. especially in the southern states. So mm -hmm. southern states, they're very, I guess, strict in that way and very formal. Just more formal. Formal. Yeah. And I have friends that will call their dad and their mom sir and ma'am mm -hmm. because that's the way they grew up and that is their their culture. The thing about the U.S., just like India, in all the different areas in India, the, the culture just, varies, the language varies from area to area. Right. I mean, like you could go like 100 kilometers in one direction and you could find another language. There's so mm -hmm. many out yeah. there. And that's what makes traveling around India so interesting is because mm -hmm. there isn't just like one culture. There is like, there's so many different regions and dialects mm -hmm. and yeah. just history in every single area. So Miguel, I think it really depends on the person that you're talking to and you get a feel for it. So with Miguel, he does not consider it rude when I use when no. I use his name because it's more like a like on a friend level. Yeah. So Come to Northeast India, please, will you? So actually, Northeast India is a place that I absolutely do want to visit uh, one day. And my dadu is talking about taking me there soon. So we're trying to plan some sort of trip to Northeast India. Maybe when I do that, I'll take suggestions. I'll let you guys know when I do go to Northeast India, you give me all the details. What should I see? What should I do? Where should I go? You know, what kind of food should I eat? Because that's the great thing too. It's like in all the different regions in India, the food just differs and they all have like different dishes and all that sort of stuff. So I'll ask your guys adv advice whenever I go to different parts of India and, you know, please give some recommendations. That'd be really cool. That would be cool. 
who was my inspiration for starting this reaction channel? That's a great question. A lot of questions on this list about why I started. Did I start it because I'm actually a fan of cinema or Bollywood or Indian cinema in general? Or is it, did I do it for views? Did I do it just because there's a lot of other foreigners doing it? Mm -hmm. And I gotta say, no, 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 and no. <laughs> so the reason I started this channel, when Dadu was just here last in October, he's obsessed with YouTube watching Tarak Mehta Ka Ulta Cheshma. And I absolutely love that show. Actually, we should do a reaction video on that because I, one other thing, during the pandemic, I was stuck in India. It was, I was visiting, it was February of 2020, mm -hmm. and I flew there. I was only planning on being there for two weeks. I ended up being there for a few months because the airports were shut down, and so, and I was visiting Dadu, and we had this whole trip planned, but when I got there, everything started shutting down. We couldn't really go out and do anything. There was also a curfew, so we were just in our room together watching TV, and we were watching crime dramas, and we were watching <laughs> Ulta Cheshma. And so I've watched probably about like a hundred some episodes, of, of that show, it's really funny. And I, I, I should show him an episode or so because I just love it. Anyway, while he was here, the whole YouTube thing actually told me about these reaction channels. Uh, he's like, son, look, why don't you start one of these? Uh, you have roots in India and you've watched Bollywood movies with me in the past. Why don't you make one of these? Yeah. So I'm like, oh no, I don't know. That's, that's a little strange. I felt a little weird because I was like, I don't know anything about reaction channels. I've never, I never even knew they existed existed until he told me about them. And he's like, look, when I go back to India, we're not gonna be able to watch movies together. And he said that if you start this channel and you start doing these reactions, he'll, he said it would be like us watching a movie together. And when he said that, I almost lost it. I, I got a little emotional. <laughs> and because like, it's, he, he really, likes like I enjoy watching movies with him. He doesn't like modern movies, so we watch um we watch a lot of classics. And when I say classics, they're like from the 70s and we've even watched some in the 60s and some in the 80s. I think you watched it with me too, right? Bobby? Yes. Yeah. We watched Bobby, the three of us uh while he was here. I really wish I would have started this channel while he was visiting <laughs> because I think it would have been really fun to watch yeah. some of those movies with him. Uh I believe there was a question what my first memory of watching a movie with him was. So A Gale Lug Ja was the very first movie that I watched with him and it was really good. It was, it's a classic, it's an older movie. And uh -huh. I mean, I really enjoyed it. I've watched it a couple times since the very first time I watched it with him. Yeah, so he was your, he was your motivation yes. and your, your first cheerleader. Yes, so he <laughs> is the reason I started this channel so that in a way, while he is in India, we can watch movies together in a way yeah like this yeah. and so it's really special because every time i release a new episode he gets my uncles and aunts and cousins and everybody together and they watch it together and it's it's super <laughs> special and i i just love hearing that it makes me feel pretty good so do i do it for views in a way for their views everyone else enjoying it is a bonus uh -huh. And yes, there are a lot of foreigners that are doing it. I feel like this is a little bit different than mm -hmm. a lot of the other reaction yeah. channels. Uh, there's another question that is asking, how's your channel growing up very fast? What is my favorite Indian actor and which Indian movie do I like the most? How this channel is growing so fast? I don't know. It's pretty amazing. I. I didn't expect it. One thing that I told everyone that I've reacted with so far is that I want this channel to be genuine. And I hope that everyone is feeling that in the comments. We've got a lot of comments that yeah. it they feel like it's a breath of fresh air because we are so genuine here. I don't tell people about the movies before we watch them. <laughs> I just kind of throw them into it. I don't, I, so I try to prioritize movies that I've never seen and that they have never seen so that when we're going into it, we're going into it blind. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Whenever I can, I try to explain some cultural things. Now, I don't know everything. I, I definitely don't. You know, I have lived in India for quite some time. But as I said, India is a very diverse country. And there are a lot of customs that I don't know about. Because right. I know my family in India and what their customs are. But it will be sometimes very different to other customs. Mm -hmm. So I know I've gotten things wrong in the past. But I'm not perfect. And I don't know everything. So how is this channel growing? so fast well i would like to believe that it's because we are different we bring a different atmosphere to the reaction genre a different perspective because i have had one foot in india and one foot in the u.s for the majority of my life the m most of my life has been split between india and the u.s i was actually born in hawaii and and i am american there is a question are we american yes both yes. of us are american yep and we have another question that is, how much Hindi do I actually understand? I believe somebody asked me to put it on a scale from one to 10. So on a scale of one to 10, I would say I'm probably about an eight. There's, I, I understand probably about 80% of what I'm listening to. And a lot of it, the other 20% is sometimes vocabulary. Like for example, we'd be watching something and they'd say Mitra. I would know the word Dost. Both of them mean like friend. There are quite a few words that I don't necessarily know, but I would know a different word for. So for mm -hmm. those words, I'll look in the subtitles and you know, because I'm still learning vocabulary. Sometimes it's, I have a way of talking with my Dadu that my grammar isn't always perfect. He doesn't correct me. He just finds it funny. <laughs> and he just, he understands. And he says, no, that's your Hindi. And he's like, yes, we will speak your Hindi. And my Hindi is with sometimes not the best grammar. And one interesting thing, my editors, I actually mostly speak to my editors in Hindi. So I have two editors on this channel and they're great. Their names are Atarv and Sairaj. And that's a shout out to you guys. You're doing great. Thank you so much for working with me because when I was doing the editing by myself, it was a lot of work. And now that I have these two great guys working with me, we've been able to release content a lot faster and sooner than we normally would have. And I give them notes and when we just chat, we speak mostly in Hindi. And I think that they would agree that uh, maybe 80% is a good number <laughs> for my scale. Eight, eight out of 10. And I think eight out of 10 is pretty good because in my daily life, I don't get to speak that much Hindi. I talk to my Dadu at least once a week and we have about like a 30 minute to an hour conversation weekly. I'll learn new words from him. I learn new words every time I'm watching movies. Proud Bharatia 461 is asking Miguel ki or aap ki favorite Indian movie kaun si hai? What is your favorite, favorite movie? Indian movie, yeah. Uh, so to date, I would have to say it's Twelfth Fail. Ah, that was so good. Yeah, it was, Twelfth it was, Fail. It was such a good movie. Such a good movie. I would have to say mine is probably Twelfth Fail up to now. Twelfth Fail is definitely my favorite. The most inspiring movie mm -hmm. that I have seen, even if I include Hollywood movies too. I mean, Twelfth fail is yeah. right there the the fact that it was all real too mm -hmm. yeah aap dono itne emotional kyu ho hum indian ki tara why yeah. are the two of us so emotional mm -hmm. as us indians as the commenter asked kaise samjha uh lagte ki bahut mushkil sawal hai ya i'm going to let him answer first <laughs> Okay. You know, for me, when I'm watching a movie, I'm really connecting with and, and empathizing with the particular situation or the people or the individual. I can take on a lot of those feelings, particularly mm. also there's one where you empathize with someone when they're struggling, but it's also when you have had a similar experience in your life and it takes you back to all of that situation and those emotions, you certainly can really feel it. And sometimes it can be really emotional for you. And I think that when someone can be authentic in themselves and not bottle them up and hide them, and that just really allows you to be who you are. I enjoy movies that allow me to relive my life because again, your whole life is a continuing story. Things that you thought were really bad in the past, you get later on in life and you go, I would not be the person I am today if I hadn't done that or that hadn't happened to me. You keep 
constantly looking at yourself and movies and stories that can remind you of that. Yeah. So, like in Merlie, Tore Jesse, Mere Hyalme, Ki Kuch Log, Barse, Dekre, Ye Kahani, Yavager, Vager, or Me to Me Underse Dektahum. Malab, Ki Agar Koi character Ki. इस सिचुएशन में है मैं सोचता हूं अगर मैं वैसे सिचुएशन में हूं कैसे सोचूंगा मतलब मेरे अंदर कुछ कैसे फील एज यू सेड आई पुट माय सेल्फ इन दीस सिचुएशंस इवन दो आई हैवेंट एक्सपीरियंस्ड इट माय सेल्फ एम विटनेसिंग व्हाट देयर एक्सपीरियंसिंग एंड इट अफेक्ट्स मी बट आई एम अ सकर सो एनी टाइम यू विल नोटिस व्हेन वी वॉच movies anytime there's like a family things it really gets me what gets me even more is when they aren't related but they build this family type bond mm. for example we watch bahubali and he calls katapa mama mm -hmm. and how strong that means for him to say that is right. just on a whole nother level you know when he killed him and his his words like he turned around he's like mama and i'm just like oh my gosh it broke me man <laughs> and i just like that hurt. like it hurts so bad like jeez i think that a lot of people when they watch these stories they watch them as a viewer instead of watching it as if like oh i'm in that situation good writing can actually write the viewer into yep. the scenario and have the viewer feel that absolutely and maybe some people are in embarrassed or nervous to show their full emotions on mm -hmm. camera on one of these reaction channels but man I'll tell you when we released 12th fail I was very nervous about what people are going to say because while I was editing it I edited that one myself when we got to that scene and I was cracking out like like my eyes were just like getting all watery Miguel's eyes were getting super watery and I'm just like oh man should I cut this out? And I'm like, no, I'm going to leave it in because it's, it's authentic. That was our reaction. And I feel like just as important as laughing is in a reaction or getting angry in a reaction, I feel like all emotions have a significance right. and that's what people are feeling. That's what we are feeling. And I wanted to be authentic and true to that. So I, I don't cut those sort of things out of these videos. We actually got a lot of comments, a lot of nice supportive comments yes. that they appreciated how open we were and so vulnerable. So I think mm. people do appreciate that vulnerability and uh, it made me a lot less nervous after releasing that and seeing the comments and seeing all the support. So thank yeah. you everyone because yeah. that was awesome yeah. to, to hear and how supportive everyone was. And a lot of people had the exact same emotions as we did while right. watching that. So. Yeah. All right, I ran up against the deadline here. I have to post this video in a little bit, so I'm going to cut the Q&A right here, but I will post another part tomorrow. Uh, in that part, we should be discussing our favorite actors, our favorite heroes, more things related to Indian cinema. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you guys will join us for the next part. Mm -hmm.